Hey y'all, it's Tetrid here, the masterful redstone engineer, and today I want to show you my new Minecraft copper bulb GPU. So as it stands right now, it doesn't have any XY um, encoders, decoders, because that's already been designed. I don't see how you could improve that or unimprove it with copper bulbs. So I haven't added it yet because there's just no world edit yet. Don't want to just mess with that. So the way this works is you have this big matrix of pretty much just readable memory and writable memory. So I have to turn the right light on for it to actually write, but as you can see, whenever the right light is on, we can go ahead and just make like whatever inputs we want on here. The computer would usually be controlling this, but I'm just doing it manually because as I said, world edit doesn't exist yet. And there's not easy ways to go ahead and get around that, but yeah, we can clear screen. So you might think the clear screen probably looks a little bit weird to you, but that's the only way it works because of how my circuit works. I hope someone can improve it. It's not a bad circuit, and I think it has a lot of potential because it can do writes on a line. That, see, look, you can write to that same line again to make it unwrite. So this could be very useful if you have scenes that you don't want to unwrite and there's only one thing moving on that scene. You don't have to refresh it and rebuild it every single time. And I've seen designs like that, but most designs this compact, which could probably be more compact, don't usually have something like that in the design. Let's look at the 2x2 two two splice. Um, of course, it gets powered from underneath, and it's just 2x2 two two stackable, and that's what makes the design possible. Right there, right, reset. And what I was going to show you, why the screen has to be rewritten two times is because of that torch right here. So this torch that powers the lock, so like it will reset whenever um, we power this. This is pretty much just an AND gate to know if it needs to reset the torch or not. So one thing I didn't realize is it powers it on both sides. So this leads, this, this gets to some interesting aspects of the design that we can do that might be useful to someone, but <coughs> let's see, let's, um, let's write something and then rewrite it once. Let's make like a flying automaton and see what it does. This could be used for something greater. I know these two functions can be. They're totally unintentional design flaws, but yeah, as you can see that right there. Whenever we press the reset once, this is what happens. Which, that's, it's a cool effect. It's, it's something, we, re, we hit it again, and we should get a full reset this time. Yeah, full reset. Also another cool part, is we have like a line fill thing. So if I press this button right here, it's gonna go all the way down. So I can do something like, do, do, oh my God, we're gonna start lagging so much right here. Let's try to make it before it all reaches the end. But yeah, it fills it in if you decide to just remove that one torch. So I feel like th that could be used some way, like say you're making a graph and you somehow flip this screen, so that's the, this would be the uh, negative y, I guess, yeah, negative y, negative x, side, zero, zero, it would go down. Anyways, that's enough about that, let's fix this again, let's put a redstone bulb back on and reset her. Let's, let's go over here to the design. So it's just a modified version of my original RAM cell, this one is just a stackable one that's pretty much infinitely stackable sideways. And this is an elongated version, so it can be infinitely stacked up. And as you see, we got a RAM. I'm just going to show you a little bit of overview. If you want to make this, you can look at my design and make it. If you can't make this based off of what I'm showing you right now, you probably aren't advanced enough to be working with things like this. But here's a quick little overview of the whole circuit. And for those technical people that are actually building it, watch out. Um, you're going to have to make it longer in this version, I think like four more blocks longer on that side because you have to be able to um, get the signal boosted and you're just going to have to be creative on how you don't interfere with the rest of the machine that way. But yes, this is, this is a redstone GPU made with copper bulbs, the first one. Um, I hope you liked it. And before I go, someone called this a calculator. It's not a calculator. It can subtract. It can add. Um, it can multiply if the program was written right. Calculators don't have memory and ROM and caches. You nimcompoops. This is not a freaking calculator. Anyways, that's me. I'm Tetro, the restaurant engineer. I'm going to be out of here.